All right, let's talk about, let's get into the, let's get into the real nitty gritty of things now. So I'm in the kitchen, of course, as you can see, I'm making vegetable soup. What's in the vegetable soup? I have like two large handfuls of spinach. I have three carrots that's chopped up. I'm using the Lipton noodles. I also have parsley leaves, pimento seeds. I have um, turnips. I have a half of, of a large turnip. I have some uh, potatoes in here. What else did I put? I put some, some canned veggies. Yes, I put some canned vegetables, things that I had in the, in the pantry just sitting there. I figured I'll just use it in the soup for seasoning. I'm using a little bit of sea salt. I'm using some turmeric. Why? Because it's everything that embodies health to me in my mind, right? Especially the days that I'm not feeling as energetic, especially with all this madness going on around the world and people getting sick right now. I'm congested like crazy. So that brings me down to talking about our immune system. It doesn't matter how often you train, it doesn't matter how often you work out. What I'm learning over the time is that your immune system is not dependent upon only what you're training, it's dependent upon what you're consuming in your body. And I have been a little slack, you know, slacking up a bit and not been on point the way I need to. And I know that you are as well because we're all human beings and we have things that happen in our lives that we tend to fall apart. Now with all of these variants and things going on all over the world, we need to start to implement way more things like lemons, right? Like pineapples, you know, eradicate the things that we do that's harmful to our systems and start to introduce even simple things like apple cider vinegar. Yes, I'm gonna plug the company, Bragg. I love Bragg's. Bragg's to me is perfect. Apple cider vinegar, organic, raw, unfiltered. Also, here goes a couple of things that I use. The black seed oil, right? I use, I use uh, MCT oils, medium chain triglyceride, healthy fats, black seed oil. They, if you look at black seed oil, you see what it does. It says natural, this is nature's all-purpose wellness oil, and they really mean it. Black seed oil can be used for every damn thing. If you have aliens coming into your planet, you can use black seed oil to break that down, okay? Probiotics for your gut lining. Probiotics, it doesn't matter the company. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to plug this company, but this has 30 billion CFUs, right? You can go to 80 billion. You can go to whatever you choose to go to. It's looking at your health and understanding your health and, and utilizing your overall commitment to learning about you. The same way I'm learning about my company and building my brand and doing all these different things. Like, for example, look, this stove right here. I install a stove. This stove, I install it. I had to buy a new stove, had to cut out the opening, had to install this, run the gas lines and all that. The same way I spend time learning about that type of stuff, guess what? I spend time studying my craft every day, which is becoming a health coach and understanding more about life as we progress. It's not about falling into the perfective mindset because the perfective mindset, we tend to fail. So when you're in a program, that's an eight week long program, the first four weeks is always just a test to see where you are. It's a test to see if you are truly a committed individual or are you gonna go right back to being that person that starts something but don't quite finish that something. And I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to me. And for me, I'm normally a starter and most of the times I'm a finisher, but I cannot say all the time that I'm a finisher. I cannot say that. You know, the only thing I know I, I know how to start doing is eating the mango and finishing it. <laughs> mangoes, baby. Love my mangoes. High in vitamin C plus I'm Jamaican, you know? Manga, 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 manga. So I want you to look inside yourself now. <clears throat> And you have to be the one now to judge, critique you. You have to critique you. So here goes the challenge I'm gonna have for you. I have the soup on the stove for a reason. For the next two weeks, your job is to consume soups. If you feel like you need to have a bunch of solid foods because of the addiction of food, and you feel like your body just cannot sustain itself on soups, soup, 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 soups, and you're gonna get tired of soup, 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 then you can go ahead and have a solid meal every now and then. But you can try all kinds of vegetable-based soups, carrot soups, pumpkin soups, soups made from different squashes, bean soups, uh, kidney beans, pinto beans, uh, 
I mean, lima beans. There's all these different ways you can make your soups, right? You can make the broth of the soup. The reason why I want you to do these soups is when people are sick, what do they say to have? Soup. You know what, you know what makes the soup powerful? People think it's the chicken in the soup. No. It's the vegetables that you add inside the, inside the soup that your, the broth is taking all of the phytonutrients and it's putting all of the nutrients within that water. So when you sip into that soup, your body is getting healthier and it's feeling better. At the same time, your digestive tract is also feeling better. And that's the goal why I, I push this for all of us within this challenge. It's, it's not to look and say, well, I didn't do that well. I, I kind of fell off the bandwagon, so I'm going to stay off the bandwagon. A lot of you out there in the world tend to fall off the bandwagon and then stay off the bandwagon. And then you say, oh, I'm going to start again when I, when I feel better or when my, my mood is in, a, in the right place. Well, you, you're going to always have shifts, right? If you get sick, it doesn't mean that you can't eat right. Maybe you're not able to do the physical exercise, but it doesn't mean you can't follow the other path, the other journey, right? Because the whole goal is to show you that the exercise portion is not all it is. That's why you see people go to gyms every day and look the same exact way all the time. They don't change because they keep on doing the same exact thing, trying to get a different result. And we know that's, that's literally insanity. You have to shift your whole entire entourage. You got to change your whole entire space. You have to shift everything that's going on inside here. Because once you make those shifts, that's when your body really begins to catapult itself towards something greater. You have the power, but you are the one who keep on sabotaging yourself. If somebody says to do A, B, C, D, and that's going to get you to get to $5 million, but you do A, B, D, and you miss C, you ain't getting the $5 million because you simply decided you want to just jump and, and, and try to take a shortcut. There is no shortcut. When people put programs together, especially people who care, we're not putting programs together because it sounds good. We're putting them together with, with a science behind it, right? It's human beings start something. If there's no challenge and if there's no, if there's no journey here, then the human being will tend to fall off. If it's not life-threatening, if it's not something that's going to shift your whole life, then human beings will tend to fall off. And I'm not talking about people who climb mountains and fall off. I mean, that's a different type of journey, right? However, they still fight to get to the top with no giving up until there's no more room to hold on. Whereas most people don't fight. They literally give up. And that's it for them. I don't want you to be that person. I don't want me to be that person. So you have five more weeks Actually, no, what am I saying? You have four more weeks to go in the eight-week body shred. As a matter of fact, this video is done for a recovery day, but I'm also going to share this video publicly on YouTube so people can also hear this message because it's a very important message. Your active recovery day is today. Today, I'm not sharing any workout videos. I'm not giving you any stretches. You can go back and do the videos I sent you in the past, or you can do stuff on your own. Moving into week five, Week six, week seven, week eight. I need for you to be 100% embodied in this. I need for you to be 100% dialed in. I need for your focus to be only for you. Don't make excuses. Don't make reasons. Don't create boundaries. Don't create pathways. Don't put up walls. You allow your life to start to shift. Now, I get a lot of you in the, in the program saying so far, like, hey, I've, I've taken off six pounds. I've taken off 10 pounds. My energy feels up. My, my focus feels better. I'm getting more rest. I'm understanding more about protein. Um, should I add, should I add um, electrolytes in my water? Yes, you can do these things. But remember, I'm not your doctor, so I cannot tell you directly, yes, you should do that. I can only give you my opinions, and I can give you certain challenges, but it's up to you to follow what your heart says, and if you have medical issues, follow what your doctor says as well. And if your doctor, doctors are sometimes not smart. Doctors are smart when it comes to medicine, but not all doctors are smart when it comes to nutrition and when it comes to health, because that's not their space. Doctors are not nutritionists. 
So they don't, they don't know nutrition. That's why some doc would tell you to lose weight, but you look at them, they're chubby in the gut and they're fat as well. So it's knowing the people you're talking to and being real and not going into this thing emotional. Because if you go into this emotional, then I'm guaranteeing you, I'm going to hit some emotions. Because going into week five, six, seven, and eight, you're going to see me talk to you a lot more about life. And I'm going to be like, like this, up in your face, right? Because I want you to finally grasp this. I need for you to come out triumphant. I need for you to be successful. And I need for you to gravitate. So we're going to go after those soups, right? I want you to make all kinds of soups. Have fun with the soups and minimize the amount of food you eat every day because we need your digestive system to relax. We need your system to heal. You eat too much and we drink too much. So it's not fasting, but it's close enough to it for most people, right? But I want you to do that. I guarantee you, if you can just go with the soups and just give your system time to heal and don't eat as much and keep on drinking your water and still keep it away from the alcohol, I mean, we're doing only eight weeks, man, and we're almost done. And watching the caffeines, right? And watching the added sugars, not drinking sodas, not drinking bottled juices. If you're exercising, doing your cardio every day, hold on. <clears throat> Do your intermittent fasting, um, watching your carb cycle. You, you follow these pathways, having your, your recovery days. I guarantee you, you're going to see the results just go even faster and way beyond the eight weeks. And if you find that this eight week shred has been doing wonders for you, I'm going to encourage you to encourage others to sign on because it's, it's there. It's there living for people to take advantage of it so they can start to, 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 to reboot and recharge their life as well. All right. So let's get after it. I want you to tackle five. I want you to tackle six. I want you to tackle seven and I want you to tackle week eight. Let's do this together. I'm in it. I'm about to go and have my soup, and then I'm going to devour my mango. Whoa! Mango, mango, mango. This is Donovan, your coach. I'll see you later. Don't forget, your body's just a body until you make it a what? A temple. All right. Later.